guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Beauty by Christy. Today I come with a get ready with me for Thanksgiving. Can't wait to eat, matcha blessings, you know. You should be very thankful to even have that food that you have in front of you. But, let's get right into it. What you see? You just keep on watching. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, loves. So I'm just doing under eye cream. It's Origins and Jensen. And do this because my under eye is dry and I want to look well rested even when I'm not. Half of the time I ain't. And I already moisturized my face um, with per usual the MAC charge water. And I'm going to aqua for these lips i'm going to prime my face as per usual with step one priming from makeup forever in this moving one and it just looks like this i'm gonna spray this heat protector in my hair while it's still tan switch job and it's not your mother's beat the heat thermal shield like that. Oh, it's really good and pretty. Next, I'm going to start contouring. With my brows, I'm gonna play by ear. Um, I don't go too heavy on my brows and lay. I'm doing a bold look. And I know that sounds weird, but I just don't feel it's necessary to touch them if make them look so. If I'm gonna be bare. Like, and when I mean bare, I mean like foundation, minimal makeup. Like, if I'm not gonna have a smoky eye, I'm not gonna freaking beat these eyebrows. I'm sorry. That's my personal opinion. I just don't like to have a crisp brow and then a semi not done face. That makes sense. I just feel like the brows are then like, wow, they're like the highlight of my face and I don't personally like that. So, I don't really know how glam I'm gonna go just yet, so I'm just gonna do them soft. Brows are a personal thing, girl. You do what you do. If that's what you like, then that's where you're comfortable at. Moving along, I'm just gonna take my erase base and dab some of that under my eye. So I'll keep scaring you guys. It's pretty brutal. I'm really need to sleep more, but it seems impossible these days. I've been so used to sleeping three or four hours, but I don't know what sleeping eight hours is. And that's sad. Uh, Max Soft Ochre paint pot. And I'm just putting that right on the eye. Creme from Makeup Geek in my crease. And I'm just using a blending brush. I'm gonna try to keep this simple. I promise. Blending brush, brush number one. Just right in the crease. Start in the crease and then just build it down. Dust it off, right? Mocha from Makeup Geek. Take whatever brown you have. And I'm just gonna start putting that in the crease. I'm just going in circles, placing that right in the crease. one is a soft dome brush from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna blend that a little. Steam Punk. That's what it's called. It looks like this. So take anything that you have that's similar. It's just a nice burgundy brownish. And I'm just gonna go right in the grease. Okay, so this color played me. I thought it was gonna be a nice burgundy, but no. So I'm gonna have to work a little bit more. Blend that. Now I'll go over there, a nice orange. So I'm just gonna put this on top. Make 
Makeup Geek and Baby Face. Something similar to this in the Morphe as well, 350. And pop this baby on. Now we should have something like this. I'm just gonna blend out that harsh line from painting the other eye and make sure that it's seamless. Now I'm going to the foundation and I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me in. 2.30 with my Morphe M439. I wish I had a pump because it's a great foundation. I just hate doing this. I'm gonna brush this down. I'm trying not to go so high here because that's where our concealer goes. Too much product there is why you crease. So. For concealer, I'm using the Master Conceal in light medium. My cap on the double-sided brush. I'm gonna take, um, Cocoa Bear. I'm with Costa Rich. I'm gonna add some depth back into the face with MAC Light Sweep Shader. For highlight, I'm going to add Oh, darling. Now I'm using MAC to give me sun to warm up my face a little bit more. Now from the Lipland collection, the Amrezy um, one, I'm going to be using hers truly. And I love this nude. It's a perfect nude. I just find that I have to use a brush because I like to overline my lips. Now we are going to do this hair and if you know me, you know my hair is curly and long as hell. So this is going to take a long time. But we gonna speed it up for you boo, don't worry. This is literally where I start dreading my long hair <laughs> and wish I had a wig. <laughs> when I get to the front part of my head, the crown, I like to flatten it forward so I can give me a little bit more volume. My hair is long and I don't have any layers, I do need a trim, so I try to give it as much body as it possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> 